Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Brooke. And this is Maker's Workshop. We put together a little gift guide because let's face it, the makers in your life are probably the hardest people to shop for. We've either made what we want already, or if it's a tool, we probably found a way to justify the purchase. <laughs> True. I also want to mention that none of the things we're sharing are things that are sponsored or anything like that. These are genuinely things that we've come across that we think would be amazing gifts. They range from probably $30 or under to up into the thousands, depending on <laughs> how much you like that special person. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how you value your love. Um. <laughs> So the first thing that we have are these card scrapers by DFM Toolworks. These are made by a maker. Because of that, they tend to have a very nice quality. He uses a high quality steel when he makes all of his tools and he mills them to high precisions. This is a great, a great low cost alternative to start getting into some nice tools. Yeah, they're also maker made, like Michael said, and they're available on Amazon. So really easy to get for most people. Oh, that's number one. Um, number two are sample sizes of finishes. I have a sample of some Rubio oil here, but believe it or not, oftentimes finishes can get pretty pricey. So having a little sample size is great because you can try it out. It's fun. It's a nice thing to try out. And oftentimes they're, you know, $10 or under for the little sample size. And, you know, believe it or not, you can get a little bit of mileage out of this. You're not going to be finishing a table, but you could definitely do a box or you know, a smaller item like that. Yeah, and then if you did want to finish a table, because you liked it, you know that, and spending the money on it isn't a big deal as much. Yeah. And then the next thing are these little mini tools by Woodpecker's Tools. Uh, Woodpecker's makes a nice quality, high precision tool, but they tend to be a little bit expensive. So this is a great affordable way to get some of that quality, and even though it's small, they'll be sure to come up it's, with something to do with it. It's still square. <laughs> Most makers use Sharpies all the time in their shop. So for the last stocking stuffer, we have the Duresta Sharpies. Um, these just have Jimmy Duresta's classic Duresta across them. He's known as the godfather of all makers, so I feel like most makers just would put a smile on their face, and it's just a little bit more giftable and fun than a standard Sharpie. And just be something that, you know, puts a little smile on their face and lets them enjoy having another pencil cup. Yeah, shows that you know them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, cool. That was stocking stuffers. Yep. And now we get to the bigger gifts, the things that you would potentially put under a tree. So for the first gift, we have... <laughs> resin! Dole boat! <laughs> All right, so one of the biggest things that we see and get DMs on whenever we do resin content is people asking about resin and saying that they really wish they could work on it, but that's just a little out of the price range and they're scared to take that first step. Because it is, it's an expensive material to work with. But that being said, you can get different sized kits and different sized bottles. So you can get these starting around $30, ranging up into the hundreds, like depending on how generous you want to be. Yeah also total boats all over the place on social media we've tried a bunch of brands and it genuinely is our favorite all right on to number two nice calibers this is the type of thing that uh, most makers probably use daily but I wouldn't really think to buy a nice one for myself but having a nice one would be really cool it's kind of like the shop version of a nice pen or something the nicer ones too I would say expensive calibers are actually better some, with some things, sometimes like you spend more and it's like, is it really better? I don't know. They are actually better. All right. On to number three. Normally, I would devise against safety equipment, things like dust masks, eye protection. They're very personal choices. So uh, just because one person loves one, chances are someone else will hate it. This is the only safety equipment that you will see in, in the this, gift guide. In this gift guide. So on to number three. Here we have the isotunes, and the thing that is great about isotunes is that they are actual earplugs, they're OSHA approved, and they provide superior sound protection while also allowing you to Bluetooth to your phone or a radio and listen to music at a decibel level that is also OSHA approved. <laughs> if you want to splurge a little bit more, um, the new AirPod Pros are not OSHA approved, but for light duty, they are great. Two options, same basic idea, two different price points. 
and two very different price points. These are less than $100, and these are $250. One question that we do hear a lot of when it comes to things like this is, will they fall out of your ears? The answer is no. no. Um, I have put them through some pretty rigorous testing, put them in, shaking my head back and forth, That's and I do. have yet to lose one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, they did. This and see. I wanted to see. Okay. All right. Tested and approved. All right. All right. On to. <laughs> Weld it yourself, kids. These are by uh, Richard from 42 Fab. It's a CNC plasma cut kit. For someone who's a maker who wants to learn how to weld, it's a really approachable way to give it a try because they're, they're plasma cut, so they're really square, they're really exact, um, and you just, you just have at it and weld it together. They range in price point. They start at a very affordable rate for the rows, and you know, obviously the bigger the project, the more steel, the more time, the more cost to ship it. Good, we did it. Okay. Right, so the next thing is the infamous Jimmy Dresta ice pick. The thing that is cool about these is I believe that Jimmy actually makes all of these himself. I think so. Maybe we're I, wrong. I believe. I might be wrong. I didn't actually ask him. He has two different price points as well. The small one is a little bit more affordable than the big one. These are just kind of a, a fun all-around tool. It's something that most makers will know what it is, and people tend to say that it becomes quickly their most used yeah. and favorite tool that they own. The other thing is if they follow YouTubers or Instagram, uh, they've probably seen this before, so having your own is just kind of fun. All right. The next thing is woodpecker squares. These are nice tools, so any maker would really love to receive something like this because it's definite like splurge item. They're definitely built to last. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Like if you buy the if you buy this for someone, they're gonna have it for years too. If you go to the woodpecker site, pretty much any of the woodpecker tools are made with the same quality, the same care. Okay. I feel like everything's really flat now. Right? <laughs> They're all flat things. Anyway. All right. Um, <laughs> these are reference charts that are made by April Wilkerson, who is another big maker on YouTube. They are very inexpensive. Um, they're made in her shop and pretty quick shipping and all of that. You can also get them finished or unfinished, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So if you get the unfinished one like we got, you can paint it to match your shop. This big one here is the hardness rating of a bunch of different species of wood. So for a woodworker, this is just a great thing to have on hand. In or the shop. for someone that is more of a general maker, it's a great thing to have because you're not going to necessarily know no. this off the top of your head. And then fraction to decimal. This one I will also add, not only for the makers in your life, but also as a gift to a makerspace school teacher yeah. or something like that. This is a great classroom resource as well as a workshop resource. For sure. Next item is a shop jacket. The first one I'm going to show is um, an L.L. Bean fleece lined flannel. It's just a standard flannel, but it's lined with fleece. And they also never show signs of age. Like I've had this one for a while. This is not a new jacket. Just don't get sad about getting like sawdust all over it. It doesn't, it doesn't even bother me because it holds up so well. Mine is the heated hoodie from Dualt. I prefer the Dualt's. All of my tools are Dualt's. So this is the battery that I have an overabundance of in the shop. Uh, so that's why I went with the Dualt. But Milwaukee makes them, Bosch makes them, everybody makes them. Figure out um, what type of tools the person you're buying for uses. And then <laughs> that's the company whose jacket yeah. you want to buy. Otherwise it's not as functional. But this is great. It has three different power settings. Uh, keeps me warm and I'm very much looking forward to shoveling in this because I will not feel the cold at all. Excited about shoveling. No, not the <laughs> shoveling part, but being I don't mind being outside <laughs> and being toasty. You're excited to be toasty. <laughs> <laughs> Just dying to know what's next. Anticipation is killing me. All right, so up next. Uh, handmade or hand refurbished tools. All right, these are by our friends over at Bastion Head. 
They take primarily vintage tools like this axe and they refinish, grind down the axe heads and then they custom make the handles. If you go check them out over on Instagram, they put a lot of that process right up there for you to see. It's very cool. They're truly a labor of love. Like they are really skilled. This particular couple also makes bowls and spoons and yeah. <laughs> The tools are really cool, so this is what we picked to, to put on the gift guide. Reach out to them, DM them on Instagram, and tell them what type of work yeah. you know, your maker does, and they'll be able to set you up with, with the, the right, right tool. tool. They do, yeah, they do a wide range of tools. The magic blanket can't really help us with the rest of the gifts. For the woodworker in your life cool wood you can get as outrageous with it and spend as much money on it as you want or you can also go down to the like lower end of the scale um and it's just as fun brockler's got a lot of really cool stuff there's um, tends to be a little on the pricey side okay where else would um, you suggest check craigslist craigslist yeah actually local right. maker spaces mm. uh woodworking guilds most areas yeah. have them the woodworking guilds will be able to connect you with the people that brockler doesn't want you to meet <laughs> uh, the ones that have a mill in their backyard yeah. and slab it themselves. Yeah. It's also cool if you can find something local, like local wood just has a little bit more heart to it. All right, so the next couple of things and the last couple of things are the big splurge gifts. Yeah, big tools, namely. Um, they are three of our favorite most used tools in our shop. And specifically giftable tools, because we went through our shop and we're thinking like what would be a good actual gift, because some tools are just a lot to put together or it's kind of humongous to fit somewhere. All three of these work uh, 20 minutes out of the box yeah. and they'll be using the tool for the first time. Someone who's experienced will like it and someone who has never done it before ever will not be overwhelmed with these three tools either. We're gonna go in order of price and the first one is our Maker Made CNC 3D printer. The retail on that right now is about $600, I believe. Uh, we do have a referral code yeah. that we'll put below that'll save you 50 That is the one exception to not sponsored. It's not really sponsored. It's, it's a referral sponsored. code. It's a referral code. Yeah. <laughs> you you know, get so. a little bit off because you heard about it through us. Yeah, so we will put that down below. It is only good, I believe, on their existing stock, so you're going to want to act on it if it's something that you think you'll like. Um, but this printer is a great first printer for somebody. It's reliable. We've been using it for what, about six weeks now? Yeah. And we are getting the same quality prints out of this $600 printer as we get out of our $1,800 printer, uh, which is why I recommend this if you're thinking of going more this route for gift giving. The other thing about this one that's kind of cool is it has a really big print bed. So even though it's not $1,000 plus printer, you could still kick out some pretty impressive prints on this thing. It was four screws to assemble it, a couple of plug-in connectors, and the first print was starting 20 minutes after opening. Yeah. The next giftable tool that we would recommend is a vinyl cutter, specifically our Roland GS24 vinyl cutter. It's a really versatile tool. So it cuts vinyl and can make stickers and whatever, but you also can cut fabric. You can cut paper. You it, cut magnetic material. All the logos you see in the shop were cut on the vinyl cutter. Meh. <laughs> yeah, whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, yeah. it's a really easy one to monetize. Oh yeah. And, and make some money on it. I would you say can, so. You can do truck lettering, mm. you can do t-shirts, you can do window lettering. The other thing too is it is in comparison to a lot of digital tools really fast. It's instant gratification where like on a laser cutter oftentimes people will be like oh it takes 30 minutes to cut that. On a vinyl cutter you can zip things out really quickly. And the last giftable machine that we recommend is the Glowforge laser cutter. And this is another one that we have a referral code for. We're putting it down below. But, uh, and it'll save you up to $500, depending yeah. on what model you get. Uh, these start these are pricey. maybe around $2,500 for the basic yeah. model. I don't remember off the top of my head. And they range up to the $6,000 mark, depending on what model you get. The model that I tend to recommend the most is the middle model, the uh, Plus. This one is literally plug and play as a laser cutter. Yeah, you pop it out, you remove the shipping materials, <laughs> yeah, okay. um, sync it to your Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and then you are printing your first print in uh, 
20 minutes top. It has an easy to use interface. Um, it, it comes with some materials that have preset power settings for them, yep. which give you a great, uh, a huge comfortability for a first timer mm -hmm. in you know firing up a laser and using it. They're not <laughs> nearly as scary as they make it sound. Um, no, no, in the Glowforge especially, like there's a ton of safeties and stuff on it. Like it just is. It's a good machine. Pretty foolproof. All right, yeah. this was our 2019 gift guide. This isn't our normal type of content. We're normally making things. We make all sorts of different things. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out some of our other videos and click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.